right guys, we're back here with another one, Jenical's Journey, and the journey continues. So New City, we're in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, uh, so we're going to check it out, I'm do a little bit of a hotel review, we're going to try some beers, we're going to try a little bit of everything. We're gonna go find a new spot to go. Go so for you guys who are cheers. We're at the Thirsty Moose Tap House. They got over 100 beers on tap. These are some of the selections they have here. Of course, I went with the trademark Candy Dandy the Bud Light. We got appetizers, we got the teriyaki chicken, as well as a side of fries. Young lady, what do you think of the food so far? Really good. Nice flavor. Um, really remind me of the Funway Cafe in which used to be in Foxborough, I believe it was. Um, nice and crispy and flavorful, and that teriyaki is sweet, and the blue cheese is good. Teriyaki wings are uh, tenders are pretty good. Um, I'm gonna get the teriyaki tenders uh, 7.9. I haven't, I haven't tried the fry yet. I'll do a live, live, live taste right now. Nice and crispy. Salted already, so you don't need to add any salt and pepper. Fries. Nice fry to it. It's like a nice crisp on that outside. Fries 8.5. So we are walking by the restaurants and checking out what is around downtown. Lots of unique things that we're passing by. A couple restaurants. We're in the Mayor Michael Lay Pie. A couple for, restaurants we recognize. For you breakfast lovers, there's the Friendly Toast. Um, there's uh, a few of them in the Massachusetts Boston area as well. Yep. Um, we've been to a few. Uh, we've gone to the Back Bay location. Yeah, personally, I'm not a breakfast lover, so if we go to, I usually get a dinner entree of some sort, uh, but the lovely Jen does love some of their breakfast stuff. Occasionally. For the second time in one day, we find a place that's closed for vacation. Huh? Oh no. Hmm. We're at the Portsmouth Brewing Company in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Um, I got the Forager IPA, and the young lady, she got the Torn and Frayed IPA. It did have a beer called Jenny, I Got Your Number. But they were out of that one, so we didn't get to try that one, and they were out of Dad Reflex American Lager. So anything that's close to a handy dandy, they're out. Alright, Michael's going in for his first thing. It's okay, decent. I'm gonna give it a 6.5. Young lady's gonna go for her first sip of beer. Let's see what she thinks. Cheers, everyone. And here's a little shot of the bar here. What are you thinking, young lady? That is good. I like the flavor. It's a nice IPA. This is my first drink of the day, and I feel like it's a nice, smooth way to ease into the evening. Bart's and the Cullen just um, gave us a little sample of Surrender to the Flow. The lovely Jen's about to taste it and let you know what she thinks right now. Really good. It's a juicy, fruity IPA. Yeah, All right. Nice. I'll take a little sip and let you know what I think. Oh, I almost knocked that over. Oh, that's pretty smooth. I enjoy this one. I'm going to give this one 8.4. And we're going for our next stop. We're walking around. We found a spot with live music. Um, it's called the Gas, Portsmouth Gaslight Company. So we're going to check it out. Check out the live music. Have a few drinky drinks. We love our live music. So we're going to see what this is all about. Also, we haven't eaten dinner. We just had that one little appetizer, and the kitchen is closed. But her socks are on deck. It's so good. It's really sweet. It's sort of as described. It has a Nutella flavor inside. It did look like it was going to be a little crispy on the outside. I normally don't like the flavor of char, but honestly, this is pairing perfect with the IPA. We just happened to wander in here, live music. 
we're enjoying it. Absolutely. Jenga. And as you saw in my video in New York, I waxed my kid brother in Jenga. <laughs> Yeah, you watched the video, but I waxed him in Jenga. Shout out to Jay Foz. All right, this is the end of night one. We're um, almost finished up with night one. We found a few places with live music. We loved it. And we found a late night spot, Signore Cannoli. And um, they're going to make up some uh, a pizza. They're going to make us a cannoli. They're going to make us a fried dough. And we're going to get some ice cream. And we're going to let you know what we think shortly. My phone's dying, so we may not have any pictures for it. But we'll see what happens. <laughs> Um, but uh, my, my Egyptian brother said he's making it all happen over there. Alright guys, this is night two of Portsmouth. We're heading to a bar called TJ's. Uh, wine and spirits or food and spirits. We just met up with two of our Gold Circle members. We've been enjoying the day with them. We had a nice dinner. Where did we go? We will post where we went <laughs> below because I forget the no name. No footage. There was too much talking. Yeah. But we, we had a nice dinner right on the water. We were walking around. There's beautiful thunder yeah. and lightning We, we caught an amazing rainstorm that was about 30 miles um, to the south of us. But it was cool catching that lightning back in the background there right on the water. Um, so if you're in uh, Portsmouth, we'll definitely link up um, all the restaurants in that little area there. They great do. Little, it's a great walking city. We've yep. just been walking around from our hotel and parking garage and downtown. Nice and easy to get around. There was live music over here at the press room. But it was $40 cover. So that's uh, Cheers, ladies and gentlemen. It's a Cheers. I stated earlier, right now it's 1015 in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. And it's everything shut down. So shut down. Um, we can't find anywhere to go. So either you go to a bar like TJ's or the Goat or um, Gaslight. Yesterday um, uh, was still open as well. Um, but there's a reason these places get super crowded at night. It's because there's nothing, literally nothing else around. So we already hit up Gaslight. We already hit up TJ's. Um, and the Goat was just too crowded for us to get into. So, so we're on a mission. We're on yeah. a mission to go find find our next place. We walked up and down this area and there's not a damn place open right now. So if you're in Portsmouth, it closes early, guys. So Burger Bar closed. hotels uh, function area this is their outdoor deck of the function area and look at this view looks beautiful we think they have live music a couple days yeah. a week um, I think Friday Saturday and Sunday they have live music this would be a nice spot to have happy hour or um, cocktail hour be able to get some fresh air for your guests out here we really enjoyed our stay here at the AC so we really enjoyed the AC Portsmouth downtown waterfront Beautiful amenities, um, rooms were comfortable, um, location was perfect if you need to go to that downtown area, get to where the shops are, the waterfront's very close as well. Um, both both of them are about a, like a 10 minute walk from the hotel here, uh, so uh, definitely check it out if you're in the area.
Look at how beautiful it is. One floor up and you can see so much more over these trees. See some of the boats. This is gorgeous up here. It's already a hot afternoon here in Portsmouth. We are going to see where the day takes us. Maybe go find a lobster roll somewhere. But look at this spot. We're gonna take it all in while we still can. And happy, happy birthday to this thank guy. You, thank you, everyone. Here we are. Marriott, Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Here. Here All right, we'll do a quick room tour here. We have been here for a couple of days, so this hotel room has been lived in. What's going on, guys? Standard sinks, nice updated appliances. This is a fairly new hotel, so everything is still nice and in great working condition. Um, we love the shower. Does have the overhead and the sprayer, and then they do have their own shampoo, body wash, and conditioner, which wasn't so bad. It's not a name brand, but it got the job done. And then a couple of other um, small amenities over here: makeup wipes, some makeup remover, little cap, file. You know the basics. Plenty of TP towels and. Everything was good in there. We come over here and we do have a safe. We did not use the safe too much while we were here, but it is an option. Do have a nice coffee stand with Starbucks coffee and our refrigerator, which has been stocked with different treats for the weekend and a special cannoli in that box, which we will do a taste test of for y'all. And then let's spin around to the bedroom area. Oh, hey, Michael. Hey, guys. <laughs> What's going on? Just resting over there. Just resting. You know, I'm turning old over here, so I had to get, get my rest in. You know, I'm 40, 40 years old now. Uh, but, yeah, this is the room. I'm sorry. We, we should have filmed it out when we first arrived. but We were know. busy living life. Yeah, and then, you know, in the middle of it, we were like, you know what? We had such a fantastic stay at this hotel. We might as well show you guys, the followers, what we think. So, um pretty spacious room this is the standard room the standard room category they do have larger rooms uh, that are look the water um, and wrap, wrap around a little bit but this is just a standard king bedroom yep this is a king bed um it was pretty comfy everything was yeah. good there yeah, um, so there's a pull-out couch as well um, probably pulls out to about a twin or a full i think that's maybe a queen up. that looks pretty big well the gem says it's a queen yeah so, that's big yep and then, um, what's our view looking like? Is it so, a Cheers or a Cheers? Is it a Cheers or a Cheers, ladies and gentlemen? Let's see. Not Ooh. bad, not bad. Yeah, I liked it. You get a little bit of the, the greenery. That is the parking garage over in that area where we parked. And then right up that road is where the downtown area where we spent most of our time. They do have metered parking here, which we heard was pretty pricey. And they do yeah. also offer valet. but Valet parking is $40 per night. Um, but if you park uh, two blocks up at the Foundry Parking Garage, it's $20 per night. So um, you're saving $20 per day if you don't mind carrying your luggage two blocks up the road. Um, or you can drop your luggage off at the front desk. Yeah. And it was super nice when we went to park the car. They said, hey, if you want to like um, bring your luggage upstairs, you can leave it on the line for a few minutes. So that's what we did. We dropped our luggage upstairs and then we just parked the car afterwards. Um, and it worked out pretty fine. Yeah. Let's see what else we got here in the room. Some fun light fixtures. And here, here is the plug situation. Lots of plugs, which is great when you have that updated room. It's always important. You want to be able to charge all of your devices. So USB and regular charger as well. Yeah, just that one. That one side you have two regular plugs plus um, two other plug ports as well uh, for the charging warriors. And then same over here. Couple, couple USBs and some benches seating area nice big screen tv we normally like to have our youtube channel up there in the background for you guys but we are getting ready to go find a lobster roll sandwich lobster roll somewhere yeah. and take on what's rest of the day absolutely of the day. so um, yeah, we, we checked out the rooftop um, bar upstairs and we gave you a quick view of that as well as the um the rehearsal space or so the wedding venue spaces uh, the meeting spaces on um, this per perfect location um, 
If you're looking to get married, perfect location. If you're looking to have a quick vacation, we talked um, to Fort Smith, so seven minutes away from all the action here, walking distance. We uh, talked to a couple of the employees up there, and they were very nice. We just introduced ourselves to them, and we told them that we would be checking in on Instagram and sharing our content with them, and we will be in touch with them soon. And one other thing we'd like to show, you know we like our rooms nice and cold, and this room delivered. Yeah, AC worked perfectly in this room. We've had other hotels where we were uh, sweating our, you know, sweating on throughout the night because the AC didn't work well. This worked perfect. And even though it says eco or eco smart, um, it pumps that AC perfectly on a yeah. hot day. So I'm happy N about that. Night one, Michael was even a little bit cold, which doesn't happen often. But we kept it at 65 the whole time we were here. Um all good things to say about this place. We loved it. We love the hotel. We'd recommend this hotel definitely. This is a local treat uh, for Portsmouth, um, Port City Pretzels. Yeah. And it's very tasty. I get Port City Pretzels, uh, 8.9. Yeah. It's really good. Nice local treat we found down in the hotel marketplace. Definitely pick up a bag of those if you are here. So we did a beer review last night with the Sierra Nevada mix pack. We're going to be linking that in a separate video. Yeah. We're going to be linking a couple of other things that we've done while we were in town. Yeah, we're going to probably put three videos for portion of the beer review. Uh, we'll probably put the hotel separately. We don't know yet. And then we're going to have a lobster roll showdown. So stay tuned for that as well. Bye. All right, take care. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Here's a few pics of our trip in Portsmouth. We had a great time. If you like this video, please don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you can see all that future content we have coming up. And follow us on Instagram. And we'll see you next time on The Journey. Take care, everyone.